This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette. In this message, I would like to conclude the reflection on the Sixth and Ninth Commandments, which invite us to live a chaste life. The Church's teaching on human sexuality can be understood in terms of living holistically, that is, integrating body, mind, and spirit in a mutual gift and acceptance of persons. Living holistically helps us to understand the Church's teaching on the morality of homosexual acts. The world seems to view the meaning and purpose of sex as an intimate, pleasurable experience between two consenting adults. If that were the meaning and purpose of sex, then one could conclude that there's nothing wrong with same-sex acts. However, the worldly view is false and shallow. God has something much deeper and richer in mind. In God's plan, the acts proper to marriage are meant to be a reflection of His love in the world. The acts proper to marriage are meant to communicate bodily, a love that is total, permanent, faithful, and unconditional. We want to be loved in this way. The worldly view does not speak to our deepest desires, but rather provides a counterfeit substitute. Because our bodies, and therefore also our fertility, are integral parts of the human person, living holistically embraces our fertility in the acts proper to marriage. To love totally and unconditionally, to completely accept the other, is to completely accept the other's fertility, just as fertile as the other might be. Therefore, the acts proper to marriage have a procreative meaning. It is the kind of act that can result in the coming to be of a new human person if all the conditions are right. It is an act of the procreative kind. It is the kind of act that can embrace the whole person by integrating body, including fertility, mind, and spirit, in the mutual gift and acceptance of persons. Even if a married couple is not fertile, their acts do in fact bodily give their fertility to each other just as fertile as they are. In contrast, sexual acts between persons of the same gender are incapable of speaking the complete gift of persons because they cannot give and accept each other's fertility. A sexual act between two women or between two men can never result in the coming to be of a child. Thus, the Catechism of the Catholic Church states that homosexual acts are intrinsically disordered, such acts can never express the total mutual gift and acceptance of persons. It is important to make a clear distinction between homosexual acts and the people who experience a desire for same-sex acts. There is a clear difference between experiencing a desire and acting on it. Persons who experience desires for same-sex acts must be treated with respect, compassion, and sensitivity all unjust discrimination in their regard should be avoided. Persons who experience desires for same-sex acts, like all people, are called to live chastely. This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette.